Hi, my name is Stian McShane. And did you know I have never, ever had a good night's sleep in my entire life? I have a supercomputer inside my head that I can't turn off. You see, I'm wired a little bit differently. My mind, to me, feels like a nuclear reactor. Thoughts and ideas fly through my brain constantly, and my internal monologue just can't keep quiet. So how would you find calm in all the chaos? Would you find peace in meditation? Well, counterintuitively, what if I told you that by completely overclocking my brain and firing it up to its maximum output, I can achieve the same meditative effect. You see, I found a medium that I can use to channel, focus, and direct all this energy. I freestyle rap, and I absolutely love it. Does anyone in the audience know what freestyle rap is? That's great. Well, for the uninitiated, freestyle rap is the art form of creating rhyme and rap on the spot, completely improvised, no script, no rehearsal, and no idea about what I'm going to say next. Would you allow me to demonstrate it for you right now? I'm going to ask some members of the audience to step forward, maybe up to the front of the stage, and I want you to find some random objects, something in your pocket, your purse, your handbags. And I want you to come forward to the stage, and I want you to hold those up in front of me. OK, peeping's cheating. I'm going to turn around. I'm not going to look. I want you guys to hold those objects nice and high to the sky, and I want DJ TEDx to run an instrumental right now. Listen up, now you know I came to flex, I came to step again, I'm rapping on the scene, I rep pretend the colour's red. Now I see I won't mean to play this dude, but I think I'm playing smooth. Is that a Rubik's Cube? But I just think that's some rare stuff. I should have the hairbrush, tireless, shout out to the person with the driving licence. Everybody knows I might need rap, but after this TED talk, I might need the tea bag. So look, I'm a mic controller, rolling on over. If I have dog hair or cat hair, I need a lint roller. So look, everybody knows, you know I like to flow with one. Is that a fly spray or maybe some deodorant? Now I'm freestyle. Spitter, rapping like it's iller So thank you for your craft work, I just need your scissors Listen up my people, now I came to drop a rap Matter of fact, I'm on a red mat and there's a hat So look, if you know it's not some drastic stuff I'm so glad there's paper, not a plastic cup Now, I see that little object, now it must be rhyming better I cannot discern what that is, but I know it's made of leather Is that a little shoe? I'm not doing shoeies But if you knew me, I hit a freestyle rap with a new free So everybody knows in my brain I'd like to flex So please clap your hands for freestyle at 10x What you just experienced then is freestyle rap. When I begin to freestyle, time for me stops. All of a sudden, all the chaotic energy that lives up here finally has a purpose, to find the next rhyme in the puzzle. And to me, it's exactly that. I see rap, or the words, in my mind's eye as if they are colored Tetris blocks that I just need to join together. An analogy for the process of what's happening when I freestyle would be juggling. You see, a juggler is not worried about the ball that's already in their hand, that's already been caught. Whew. They're looking at the ball that's up in the air and whoosh, where it's going to land. And by then, the next ball is already up in the air. So what I mean to say is, when I'm rapping to you or delivering my rap, I've already thought about it. But as I'm delivering it to you, I'm already seeing the next word up in the air and trying to work out where it's going to land. In order to perform this freestyle juggle, there are three balls. The first ball is the rhyme. I need to start with a rhyme. How do I find the rhyme? Well, in this case, I'm looking around the room for an object or a point of reference, something that I can see. For the purpose of the exercise, I am standing on a very big stage. So I'm going to say stage is my rhyme. OK, where do we go from there? I need to find instantly a word that I can rhyme with stage. What well, rhymes with stage? Is it page, mage, rage, cage? Let's choose cage. Cool, I've got two rhymes. They're linked together. Whew. Throw the rhyme ball up in the air. The next ball that I pick up is the structure. I need to build a sentence in front of the rhyme word so it finishes on the rhyme for emphasis. Could you imagine having a conversation with your mate 
and you start your conversation with the last thing you're going to say and then reverse engineer your entire chat before that. That's literally what's happening in milliseconds. So, for example, stage and cage, I might go, uh, I feel like I'm a beast, let me out of this cage. I need to feel released, so I step on the stage. Great. Let's throw structure up in the air. The last ball that I pick up is the delivery. This is where, no pun intended, I wrap it up for you. Delivery is where I ensure that all the words I've chosen fit syllabolically and rhythmically for a sense of musicality. So it actually sounds like I'm rapping. So I might then choose to go, hey, yo, it feels like I'm a beast. Let me out of this cage. just like I need to feel released when I step on the stage. Great. I'm ready to deliver that to you. And as I'm repeating that now, I'm saying it, I'm already staring at the next thing over there. I see a couple of people in the crowd and they're sitting on the chair. You never guess it's never left for dead. I'm staring at the TED. Can you understand all the words that are happening in my head? This happens infinitely until I fall off or stop. It's like running on water. Every rhyme becomes the next stepping stone to the next. And this is why I love it, because it completely employs every aspect of my brain and nothing else matters in that moment. With enough practice, you can actually build a rhyme dictionary inside your mind. Think of it like learning your maths timetables. For example, when I see Ted, I immediately know that head, dead, bed, said, red, rhyme. I don't even have to think about it. I already know the answers. The Tetris blocks are already there. It's a matter of how I piece them together that forms the puzzle. With even more practice, you build up confidence. All of a sudden, your rhyme dictionary begins to include compound words, phrases, sentences, and now I have this toolkit or this arsenal to paint whatever picture it is that I want. Now, all of a sudden, when you hold a Rubik's Cube up to me, I don't need to think about what rhymes with Rubik's Cube. I am more focused on, do I want to make a joke, a pun, an analogy, a simile, a metaphor, a pop culture reference? Because now my brain has the freedom to worry about that, not just making it rhyme for rhyme's sake. I'm at the point now where I can use freestyle rap as a medium to comprehensively express myself and get whatever point or sentiment it is across. This allows me to release all this energy. For me, this is my superpower. And you can see how excited I get about it when I do it. But every superpower has its kryptonite. The same brain that can process all of this information in a matter of milliseconds is the exact same brain that wakes me up two to three times a night without fail. I'm sleeping. My consciousness just turns on, even with my eyes closed. And my internal monologue just starts. Psst. Hey, bro, what? I'm trying to sleep. I got work tomorrow. Yeah, remember that song you heard on the radio? Let's repeat the chorus a thousand times in your head. Yeah? You watched a pretty cool YouTube documentary today, huh? Yeah, it was good. Yeah? Well, let's do a deep dive analysis at 3 a.m. in your brain. This leaves me perpetually feeling unrested, tired, and burnt out. And you better believe I had a bad sleep last night. This affects my quality of life. But I've just adjusted to this as a new normal. The same brain that gets excited to rap for you is the exact same brain that is a slave to dopamine. If something doesn't immediately interest me, I tune out. And if I'm tuned out, I become frustrated if I have to continue to engage with it, which leads me on a cycle of procrastination, often half-finishing tasks and avoiding things like life admin. This affects my productivity and my drive. The same brain that can process every conceivable rhyme outcome with the word Ted is the exact same brain that will glaze over mid-conversation with you and I tune out as my thoughts wander elsewhere, which often leaves me never quite feeling present in a moment. This affects my quality time with my friends and my family. My friends and my family have also told me that this sounds like the hallmarks of attention deficit disorder. <laughs> and now, as an adult, I've decided to explore this theory and learn more about myself. And as of this talk today, I'm currently enrolled for a formal psychiatric evaluation. <laughs> Thank you. 
to learn more about me. But you know what? With all the benefits and drawbacks of being wired differently, I wouldn't want it any other way. Because inside every single one of you in this room is a superpower. Whether it's academic, athletic, or artistic, the ability to channel your energy into something that you are genuinely passionate about can create limitless opportunities. See, I'm very lucky that I found my conduit and my path to channel my energy because it has allowed me to live my dream. I've been able to forge lifelong friendships through music. I've been able to perform on stage with some of my favorite artists and idols. And I've been able to perform at hundreds of shows and make people laugh and smile every single week. Of course I wouldn't want it any differently. I'm so lucky that I found it. So I want to ask you a question, Ted. If you believe you're wired differently, I want you to turn on your supercomputer and fire up your fusion reactor to find your superpower. Because you just might supercharge your life. Thank you so much. <laughs>